Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're going to be checking out Kona. Now, Kona was given to me by the developers, so I would just like to say thank you very much for that. Now, the game is still in early access at the moment, so um, this will not be a proper review, but this will merely be a quick look just to see what the game is like, to see if it's worth continuing to play. Uh, if you guys do enjoy watching me play this game, then please do let me know in the comments below and I'll play some more of it. Wow. Already. Okay, look at that. That's beautiful. That's just the title screen. Right, anyway, guys, I'll be back in a minute because I forgot to plug my control pad in. So, two minutes. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Right, so, yeah. Um, so, we're on the loading screen just now. Um, I think this is set in Canada. Um, I'm not entirely sure what part of Canada it's set in, but it says here, Reminder, you're playing an early access version of the game. Among other things, the journal and photography mechanics are being revamped. To find out more about our release schedule, please visit www.konagame.com. So you guys, if you want to check that out, please do. But I'm telling you right now, this game so far looks stunning, and that is purely from the title screen. Now, I have heard talk that it was actually going to be touted as the next Firewatch. Now, you guys who've been with me for a while know that I absolutely loved playing Firewatch. It was an amazing game. And if this game has the same sort of feel behind it, then... Oh, hang on, pressing the button. Then I'll be very, very happy indeed. Carl Faubert, private oh. detective, had just travelled thousands of kilometres from Montreal to reach this remote middle-of-nowhere area, situated near the far northern Lake Atamibek. Granted, this was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. Ooh. And so it begins. So what do we do? Can we move? Yeah, we can move. Okay, so we're going to pick up all the stuff here. So we've got the camera. Carl had to drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. Okay. William Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses, as well as metal mines in this northern region. Did I just see Hamilton, Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Okay, so let's go and get into our car and get going Hamilton then. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Oh, God. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? And why didn't that we notice would, it when we were sitting at the picnic table? Another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Okay, we need to break the lock. Okay, we've got nothing. We need to get some pliers or something. Oh, a rock. Yeah, and why did we notice it when we were sitting there waiting, you know? I was like, hmm. There's something seems to be a miss here, don't we? It is, yes. Uh, telephone. Hamilton, no doubt, knew who managed the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call, but that would have been too okay. easy, though, as sure enough, the line was acting up. Well, of course it was, because it, not, nothing's ever going to be easy in games like this, but wow. I'm well impressed with the graphics in this. It's a bit foggy, but I'm assuming that is because it's, like, probably winter or something. I don't know. These are quite nice. So, <coughs> An interesting work of art. Let's head up here. Let's head up the tower and see what we can find. Ooh, look at that. Look, we've got legs. Yay! Okay, up, 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 up we go. And there it is, there's the pliers. And what's this? Take whatever the hell that is. And let's go back down and let's go and open that lock and set off in our way, see what it's going to take us. Whee! Is that the same pickup truck from uh, Firewatch? I can't remember. It looks very similar. Oh, what's this over here? Uh, two Carl miles. was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. I am on the right track. That's good. Let's the cutters made lock. quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes? Carl, the professional vandal, thought, <laughs> reveling in the irony of the situation. It's kind of uh, I, I, I like quite like the humor of the narrator there. Um, so our car still switched on. So let's go for a right here. Uh, are we actually going to get to drive this thing, or are we going to, you know, just sit here? Oh, we can. Mm -hmm. We can drive Hamilton it. Okay. Enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Ooh, okay. Not too far from here. Get a story while we're driving. That's good. Okay, so let's go for a drive. I'm, I've never get used to these kind of cars. You know, with the, the local the populace two was wheels on the left hand side. The affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman 
who would do anything to further his fortunes, and those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Oh, snow's starting. Okay, so we're gonna get snowing here. Heading far back. Oh, whoa. Wrong way. Oh, I was using my right stick instead of my left stick there. Keep your eyes on the road, Derek. Carl was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North Very made early. clear who was the boss up there. Snow. Which didn't S care much about the date when it felt like dumping his first load of the year. Yeah. Okay, so we're driving on ice already. My god, I got cold hell of a quick. Although that's not a bad thing. I mean, it makes everything look pretty and it actually is like driving Hamilton in the snow. Had recently acquired a few local businesses. Stay but the right last side, straw was right the right reopening thing? of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Ooh, the Cree people. Creepy people. Creepy pee 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 pees. Oh. Yeah, 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 mate. I was on the right side of the road. You were on the wrong side. I've got right away. Do I have a horn? Can I beat my horn? I don't Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. Well, quite possibly, but I don't actually so know what he's up to. Only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Hmm, possibly. Very possible. I, I really like the me I like the mechanics of this game. I'm liking the graphics. I'm liking the fact that this is actually like driving in a snowstorm. If any of you've ever driven through snow, you know what I mean. And even like look, even the 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 driver's mirror is getting um, condensation on it from the cold, and that does happen. It's supposed to keep a duster or something handy or a clean cloth. The truck was running on fumes. Ooh. Good thing that the general store was close by. Yeah, let's go and check out the general store. Maybe there'll be some petrol or something. Find out. There's a truck over there, but ah, here we go. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, let's go. I don't know what side the side it's on, but uh, yeah, maybe there. There we go. Parked in nicely. Okay, so let's head into the store and let's get ourselves some petrol. Wow, it's pretty damn chilly in here. Yep, oh, there we go. Oh, even the sound of the feet. Listen. I love that noise. I love the sound of bits on snow. Such a cool noise. Is empty here? Hello? Empty around? Hello? Oh. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. <gasps> Not outside. No. Oh. Okay, what's us over here? The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. So basically there's no power, so there's no way of me getting any petrol. Oh god, it's okay. Yeah, everything's broken there. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Yeah, well. Let's see, what can we do here? We open us. Sail. Ooh, ooh, it worked. Okay, okay. So let's get some money. What's this here? Louise According Blaise, to that law, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Yeah. Well. Okay. So. D oh yeah, we've got a torch somewhere. How do we open this? Uh, torch, 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 torch. Equip. Okay, flashlight. Okay, we've got some drawers here. And then in them. Uh, what's that? Ammunition or something? Close that off. Okay, let's get closer. You don't leave ammunition out in the open like this? Was Gilles Lachance that careless? Oh, possibly. It looks like he might have been. Uh, oh, Finding a key. a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. I'm sure we'll all find it, but um, let's see if we can get out of here. Maintaining his composure, Ooh. Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> I don't know, but um, I reckon we're going to have to find somewhere to use that key. What's this? Ooh, we can do something. Start a fire? No, we can't start a fire yet. Maybe there's something else in the store we need. 
In fact, you know what? Let's um, let's see if this key fits in this garage place first. See if we can fix the generator. That'd be a good thing to do, I'm guessing. Yeah, what have we got? What have we got? Not a lot, by the looks of it. Oh, we've got some drawers here. No. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nothing there, nothing there. Ooh. Okay, turn off. Turn off. Okay, my gods. Alright, so there's a car now. So we've got the pieces we need for the generator, so... Let's go and, uh... Oh, there we go. Let's go and turn on the generator. What have we got here as well? Oh, we've got some logs. Maybe we can light a fire or something. Keep ourselves warm. Oh, there we go. Yep, we need to keep ourselves warm as well. So that's the mechanic that's in there that I did not know about. But yeah. What else do we have? Fixed generator. Generator's now fixed. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, this place is a mess. There's something there. What's this? Here's a spark plug the order for your Ski Do Elim Peak. Uh, this model is very popular, so it's difficult to find a new one quickly. Thank you for choosing uh, the garage and that place that I can't pronounce. Truly, that guy that I can't pronounce his name of. So we've got that. Okay, so can we put my torch away now? Thank you. So we can only supply up to one place, so turn off, turn on. Okay, we've got power. Let's, uh, there we are. Power! Uh, nails, bolts, screws, and such. So hopefully we should be able to. These beers are not even cold. I'm surprised in this weather. Okay, let's go and fill up our car. There we are. Ah, it's quite a relaxing game. This actually, it's quite nice. It's not too taxing with the puzzles and things, but let's uh, yeah, let's fill it up. Okay, we're done. Uh, fill up a gas can. So we need to go and find the gas can. So what about we find one of those? Maybe one around here somewhere. What's over here? What is this? Crossbow bolt. Oh, okay. We're going to take a picture, apparently. There we are. Okay, we've got a picture. Let's put the camera away. Anyone in here? Any gas cans? No. Okay, so we're going to find gas cans. I'm assuming they'll probably be in the garage or something. So we'll probably need to power up the garage power source or something. Guys, we're getting too much into this game. This is supposed to be a quick look and I'm getting so into it. Uh, let's see. Turn off the power in here and turn on the power in the garage. And let's go and warm up with the fire a little bit. There we go, nice and warm. And that saves the game. Okay, alright, so the heat, the heat there saves the game. Anything in there? Nothing in there. Nothing I can use. Alright, fine. Uh, light switch? Anywhere? There's a light there. The crowbar uh, was crowbar. stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, equip flashlight. Okay, what have we got down here? that there. Oh, here we go. Here's the button over here. Right, that's lifted that up. So we can grab the crowbar and go and use it on something. At long know. last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Yay! Surely it would come in handy at some point. Probably would. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here for just now. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this and um, hopefully you enjoyed it. 
I would give this a definite thumbs up because it is certainly an intriguing little game. The narration is point on, on point. That's the one on point, and um, yeah, it's really really good. So if you want to try this one out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can find this on Steam. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And please do share this with your friends. Now, if you have any suggestions for any games you want me to play, use the Epic Blade link in the description below. But until next time... Bye bye So much to see, so much to do. And um, as you can see, like a lot of stuff has changed its names, uh, which I did not know. I don't know what the hell a voxel shop is for. Yeah, I think it just used to be called the Pink Flower, if I remember rightly. If I remember right, rightly. It was only last week, last time we played this. My god. Fucking hell. My memory's that bad. I really am old, aren't I?